the situation, the crisis in Camp Liberty right now is absolutely catastrophic. I am appalled that we have watched for many, many months as the siege of Camp Liberty has continued with the 2,500 registered refugees being denied proper access to medical care, to medicines. They're denied visits from friends, family, lawyers, or members of parliament. It's unbelievable that the United Nations can continue to recommend that this should be uh, called a temporary transit location. We were assured when the people were moved from Camp Ashraf to Camp Liberty that it would be on a revolving door basis, that the people would be taken 400 at a time from Camp Ashraf, they would be individually interviewed, registered as refugees by the United Nations, and then in a revolving door system, they would be sent to countries of safety uh, outside of Iraq before the next 400 uh, people came from Camp Ashraf. Four years later, we still have two and a half thousand people in Camp Liberty. And the reason that uh, a thousand of them are no longer there is because hundreds of them have been killed, massacred by the uh, Iraqis, used as puppets by their sponsors in Tehran who wish to liquidate all of these people. Uh, and the Albanians who are the only country, not even a member of the EU, who have rescued hundreds of uh, these refugees from Camp Liberty. And we thank the Albanian government from the depths of our heart for their humanitarian purpose. But I want to say to the United Nations, why are they they not standing up and being counted. All 2,500 people in Camp Liberty are registered refugees. So how is it that they are incarcerated inside security fences with guard towers, with machine guns pointing in at them, not pointing out, protecting them from terrorist attacks. The machine guns are pointing in at them. Why is it that after two days of 50 degrees centigrade heat in Baghdad during Ramadan, the food supplies, fuel supplies, and medical supplies are not being allowed to enter the camp. These people now, without fuel, have no air conditioning. Their food is rotting in the heat in the trucks that have been barred from access to the camp. Their medicines in the refrigerators with no electricity are uh, going wrong. Why is it in a refugee camp, the United Nations simply washes its hands, turns its back and walks away? They should hold their head in shame. This is an absolute disgrace. I have written today to the Prime Minister of Iraq, Haider al-Abadi, demanding that he lift the siege, he end this blockade of Camp Liberty. But it's up to the United Nations to do something. Why are they not thumping the table, putting out press releases, saying these people are registered refugees? You cannot abuse their human rights. You cannot allow their lives to be endangered in this way. It is an absolute outrage, and the United Nations will be held to account for this, as well as the Iraqis and Fayyaf Khalid, the Iraqi puppet uh, who is in charge of the oppression of these people. He had better watch his back because he will be brought to the Hague one day along with his political masters and they will stand trial for abuse against human rights, for uh, abuse against humanity, for the crimes they have committed. But I call again and finally for the United Nations, get off your backsides and do something to help these people.